morning, everybody. Aloha, everybody. Welcome to 6th of June Bible study. And today is 6th of June 2024. It's very beautiful outside today. And I hope you are enjoying your summer because summer is always, uh, because summer is always beautiful. Isn't it? All, uh, summer is always beautiful. So today I want to talk to you about Jesus is coming. It's the final chapter in the book of Revelation. In the book of Revelation, there's a final chapter. It's a, fa a final chapter in the book of Revelation. And we're going to read Revelation 22. We're going to read Revelation 22. And, the Revela and Revelation 22... It's talking about uh, uh, how uh, how it's gonna look like before Jesus is gonna come back. So this is really interesting. This is this is gonna be really interesting. This is gonna be really cool, and this is gonna be actually. <coughs> Excuse me. This is gonna be very important. So. So we're gonna read Revelation chapter twenty-two, and then we're gonna, and then we're gonna talk about it. So Jesus is coming in Revelation, and even we're gonna read Revelation chapter twenty-two, verse thirteen, because uh, Revelation chapter twenty-two, verse thirteen, it says, "At the beginning and the end, on the Alpha and the Omega." This is what Jesus said when uh, Saint jo uh, when John, because John was Jesus' best friend. B Jesus was John's best friend, so they were getting along together so uh, so so very uh, so very good. They, they were getting along together very very cool. So Jesus is coming, and we gonna. And we are going to read this. So, Revelation chapter 22. We're going to read it now. I'm going to turn off the fan uh, because it's disturbing. Okay. Then the angel showed me a river with the water of life, clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of, and of the Lamb, and flowed, uh, flowed down the center of the main street. On each side of the river grew a tree of a uh, grew, grew a tree of life, bearing twelve crops of fruit. With, with a fruit crop each month, the leaves were used for medicine for, to heal the nations. No longer will there be a curse upon anything, for the throne of God uh, and of the Lamb will, uh, will be there, and his servants will worship him, and they will see his face, and see his name will be written on their foreheads, and there will be no night there. No need for lambs or sun. Excuse me. For the Lord God will shine on them, and they will reign forever and ever. They, then the angel said to me, Everything you have heard and seen is trustworthy and true. The Lord God, who inspires his prophets, and sent his angels to tell his servants what will happen soon. So this uh, this uh, this is Revelation chapter twenty two is describing um, is a kind of a description of how it's going to be in heaven. So there is going to be no night there. Everybody everybody will be flying around, be happy, and all that stuff. You know, everybody will be happy. Every uh, uh, nobody will be in pain. Nobody will be crying. Nobody, <laughs> nobody will do anything. Uh, anything you know, what uh, what comes to this fallen world because this fallen th because this world is under the curse because of uh, because of two people. Adam and Eve, because Satan tricked Adam and Eve in the book of Genesis that they had to eat the fruit of uh, of uh, the uh, of the uh, from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So Satan tricked them 
So Satan tricked them. Yes, Satan tricked them. And that they did, uh, and uh, Adam and Eve disobeyed God. Isn't that awful? You know, and this is what happened. So this uh, this is what is everything. Well, this is what is everything in the Book of Revelation is very true. No word, ha uh, no word should not be changed because the Book of Revelation is an exceptional book that Jesus wrote. That the, uh, that Jesus wrote, John wrote the Book of Revelation. That Jesus wrote the Book of Revelation, and Jesus was describing. Uh, the world, uh, the, in the book of Revelation, Jesus is describing the world, how it's gonna be, uh, how it's, uh, uh, how it's gonna look like be be because of those events. Because of those events. So Jesus is describing the world, how it's gonna be, be before he returns. Let's see what's going on? Okay, and Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming, so this is our title of our yeah, this is our title of our of our Bible study today. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming really soon. This is what he said in the book of Revel uh, this is what he said. This is what he said. I am coming very soon. There's gonna be no pain, no crying, no uh, no uh no bad, no bad things. Everything will be perfect. Everything will be perfect because I'm gonna be in there. I'm in charge of the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is, is an exceptional place where everything is perfect, when e where everything is clean, where everything is happening with, where everything is happening because God told so in the Bible that water, you can even drink the water because the water is going to be clean as crystal. You can, the water is, so, uh, is going to be so clean that you can even swim in it, that you can even drink it, that you can even, that you can even look at it. The, look at that! Look at the other side of the water. The other side of the water. There's gonna be no. The, the, there's gonna be fish, but they will not. They will not eat you because they will. Everything will be peaceful. Everything will be peaceful. Everything. There is a mercy in heaven. There, uh, there's a be uh, best quietness in heaven. Everybody will be have fun in heaven. Be, uh, everybody, you will have so much fun in heaven instead of in the kingdom of hell that Satan is going to be there. But you will not take the mark of the beast because because the ma ma the mark of the beast is a trick. The mark of the beast is a trick. Is a trick. Satan is gonna come down uh, as an uh, angel of light, and he's gonna look good. But that doesn't mean when something looks good that you wanna that you that you should have it. That doesn't mean like this. That doesn't mean like this. Yeah, that everything what is look good, good that doesn't mean you should have it. That doesn't uh, that doesn't mean you should have it in your in your soul. But but everything what is what is good and looks good, you should you should have it. Not what it looks good, but it's evil. This is what is going on. This is what is going on in the world. Uh, this is what's going on in the world right now. That Satan has to. That Satan is trying to trick people to do something to 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 try to to try do something evil, so people can get away from God. But God will not allow this because God will defeat Satan before the final judgment. There is going to be the thousand years when uh, Satan will be uh, cha uh, chained for a thousand years. And then there is, uh, there is going to be defeat of Satan. Satan will be defeated. Satan is a dragon. 
that he that he is trying to trick other people, that he is trying to trick other souls in this world to do something where they're not supposed to do. And this is what Satan is trying to do. But we will not but we will not but we will not do those things. We will not do those things. We will not do anything behind God's back. We love God. We 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 adore God. We we wor worship His Word. We worship Him. We worship the Lord. That's why we want to go to the kingdom of heaven. And uh, otherwise, when we worship Satan, we will not be written in the King uh, Book of Life just because we don't worship God. We wish we are written in the Book of Life. We are written in the book of life because God knew that we will get born. He knows all the gender of people. He, uh, all the gender of people is there's going to be a girl or a boy. So God is going to tell you, God is going to give you the information who will going to be in your family. Is going to be a daughter or a son. God, this is God's decision. This is all God's decision. Who is going to be? Just like the angel said to Mary, you're going to give birth to a boy and you're going to name him Jesus and he's going to be king, the king. He will be kings of all kings. He will be the kings of all kings. You understand this? This is really important. What is coming into, what is uh, really coming into those uh, kinds of things? Kings of all kings, lords of all lords. He's going to be the master of the universe. This is what the angel said to Mary before Mary gave birth to Jesus. See what's going on? Angel did that. Angel did that to Mary. Angel did that to Mary. So Mary, uh, so Mary went pregnant. But Joseph said, "We didn't get. We haven't got married yet." But you know what? Jesus is the one who is more important. Jesus is the one who is more important. And guess what? He was uh, he was born in the Bethlehem like a little angel, a little angel um, slept, uh, sleeping uh, sleeping in a bar because there were no hospitals there because there were no hospitals there. There was no uh, specialist uh, down there. Hey, the baby is getting born. We have to get it help. No. No, there was no, there was no, nothing like this. He was born, he was born in a barn. He was born in a barn with, with animals. Jesus is God. Jesus is God, not an animal. No. Jesus is God. Jesus is God. Jesus is a true God. And let me read this. Jesus says, Jesus is coming, in Revelation chapter 22, verse 7 says, uh, Look, I am coming soon. Blessed are those who obey the words of prophecy written in this book. Blessed are those who reach, who is reading my testimony. Blessed are those who listen to my preaching. Blessed are those who obey the Lord. Blessed are those who obey other people, who obey their friends, who obey their parents. Blessed are those who are doing those good things and stay away, staying away from trouble. This is really important, my friends. And those are the words of encouragement that Jesus, you know, that, uh, that uh, people are trying to say to you, that the words of uh, uh, encouragement are, are spreading out 
to, uh, are spreading out to you and they are going into your heart there are those words of encouragement they go into your heart but those words of lies and uh, uh, offense uh, uh, those words that are uh, offenses are are, are trying to trick you to get out of those words of encouragement but you will not you will not you will not listen to the words of lies you will not listen to the words of lies you will not you will not listen you will not listen to the words that they, they try to trick you they will you will not listen to a word you will not listen to words the words they're trying to hurt your feelings and said you are this you are that you don't know how to do don't listen to this this is bunch of baloney this is bunch of baloney that satan is telling you but jesus is telling you the truth about you say uh, look boy Jesus is telling you the truth, who you are. Jesus is saying who you are. Jesus uh, has even programmed in this his brain. That's who this boy is. This is who this man is. You cannot change the way you look. You cannot change the way you like. You cannot change the way that you, you can change the way that you behave. But the, but, but the, but the, but the thing is that you can change. That you, you will not change your character to, uh, to other people because, uh, because God is telling you to be kind to other people to be nice to other people and that's why you are written in the book of life because you worship god you obey your parents and you are kind to other people you should be kind to your children my friends this is why you go into the kingdom of heaven you go into the kingdom of heaven because you worship the Lord and you obey the Lord. You obey your parents. You obeyed. You obey God's word. You obey God's word. And this is what it really mean to go to the kingdom of heaven. This is what are you supposed to do? Obey your parents. Obey God's word. Obey other people. No conflict at all is needed. But pe well, some people are taking this too seriously. And it's just... It's just... It's just very bad. Okay. I, John, uh, am the one who heard and saw all these things. And when I heard... Uh, and saw them, I fell down, I fell down to worship at the feet of the angel who showed me, uh, them to me. But he said, no, do not worship me. Don't worship me. I am the servant of God, just like you. And your brothers and, uh, I'm the servant of God, just like you. And your brothers, and, uh, the prophets, as well as well as all who obey what is written in this book, worship only God. <coughs> then he instructed, then he instructed me, do not seal up the prophet words in the book for the time is is near let the one who is doing harm continue to do harm let the one who is vile continue to be vile let the one who is righteous continue to be right to uh, live righteously let the one who is holy continue to be holy guess what this is what it says what Jesus said, look, I am coming soon. Bring my reward with me to repay all people according to their deeds. I am the Alpha and the Omega, 
The first and the last. The beginning and the end. This is what Jesus said. This is what Jesus said when John was written, writing the book of Revelation. This is what is this is what Jesus said. Those in the red words, this is what Jesus is saying. Jesus is saying the powerful words, and you should be listening to them. You should be listening to those powerful words. Guess what? Guess what? The words are always the kind word. Proverbs 16.23, Proverbs 16.24 says, Kind words are like honey poured into your heart, and they are lifting you up. They are lifting you up. Kind words lifting you up. Kind words lift you up. So they will say they will encourage you. Bad words will not encourage you, but kind words will. Kind words will encourage you. Remember that about this. The kind words will encourage you to do something good. Bad words will encourage you to do something bad. No, no, no. It's come back. It's come back. You do not do bad things. You do good things. You do good things because the Lord told you to do. The Lord told you to obey your parents as a child. You as a child should have fun, have friends, have uh, have freedom. But that doesn't mean you should obey your parents. No. It means that you should obey your parents. But you have a right to have freedom. You have a right to have friends. You have right to have uh, to have fun and play and and, and have uh, to have fun and play and just enjoy your childhood. Jesus said so in the Bible that children, children, you should obey your parents. Here you go. Blessed are those who wash their robes. They will be permitted to enter through the gates of the city and eat the fruit from the tree of life. The tree of life is a fruit that if you eat this fruit of the, from the tree of life, you will be living forever. Is that cool? <laughs> Outside the city uh, are the dogs. They're sorcerers, sexual and moral, the murderers, uh, the idol worshippers, and all who love to live a lie. Worshippers and all who love to live a lie. I, Jesus, have sent uh, my angel to give you and my, uh, you this message for the, uh, for the churches. I am both the sorcerers of David and to, uh, there is the, uh, they there here to this to his throne. I am the bright morning star. This is what Jesus said. I'm the bright morning star. The spirits, the spirit and bride say, "Come, let anyone who hears this say, come, let anyone who is thirsty come, let anyone who desires drinks freely from the water of life." And I solemnly declared to everyone who hears the words of prophecy written in this book, if anyone adds anything to what is written here, God will add to that person the pledges described in this book. And if anyone removes uh, any of the words from the book uh, from this book of prophecy, God will remove that person's share in the three tree of life and the, and the holy city that are described in this book. He who is the faithful witness to all these things, he said, Yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. May the grace of the Lord Jesus be with God's holy people. And this is what it, and this is what is uh, the book of Revelation is really ended with this with this warm-hearted thing 
Yes, I am coming soon. Don't worry, you will be with me in heaven all the time. Forever. Ever. Ever. <laughs> you know? Yeah, uh, you know, this is really important. This is really important that Jesus is saying those things. I am coming soon. Wait for me. Wait for me patiently. Patience is the one of the... Uh, patience is the one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit is patience and faithfulness. You have so, you have so much you have so much work to do in your life before Jesus is gonna come back. <clears throat> before Jesus will come back, you will you will see him. All the you will see him. Scrolling. Thank you so much yeah, for uh, joining me in this uh, teaching of this book of Revelation. I hope it was very fun. Uh, I hope it was really fun. And then Monday we are gonna come. Uh, we are gonna go to the book of Philippians. We're gonna go to the book of Philippians. We're gonna. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, uh, we're gonna be reading uh, the letters uh, to. Uh, to Paul, who was very faithful, who was very faithful. First, he was a Roman, and then his name was Paul. He was the one of the best. Yeah, he was the one of the best letters ever. So Paul wrote Philippians, Ephesians, Galatians, Romans, all those other things. First Corinthians, Second Corinthians. Everything that Paul is uh, uh, read, we are gonna be preaching this. Thank you so much for uh, being with me uh, in the Bible study pr about preaching the Book of Revelation. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Like this, uh, like this video, and, re and remember to share it with your friends because lots of your people need God. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time, which is Monday, which is a Monday. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.